More coffee, anyone? No, thank you, Daphne. I think I'm just about done here. And in fact, I've got a conference call back at the office. I I'm just going to check to see if that's still happening. Fraser, why don't you see if there's any more questions in there we haven't done yet? All right. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, yeah, we've done those. All right. Uh, oh, here's one. Can you recall a specific incident where Maris lost her temper or behaved in a way you'd characterize as volatile or unstable? <laughs> You're kidding. No, well, based on what? Oh, please. Something wrong? No, it's okay. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, Maria. No. Maris's lawyers, they kill me. I mean, all week long, it's been one desperate ploy after another. This one, this is the best one yet. Well, what is it? Oh, now they're claiming alienation of affection. You're kidding oh. me. After what she did? Yeah, believe it or not, now they're saying that during the marriage, Niles was in love with another woman. Oh. Who? Oh, you. Me? Dear. God. <laughs> That's absurd. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? Well, not to the best of my recollection. <laughs> caused quite a stir on the dance floor or something? Yeah, we were just putting on a show for his snobby friends. You must have been very convincing because they're going to subpoena you for deposition. Oh. Now, look, you know, we can just call their bluff right away and come tomorrow morning with Fraser. It's fine by me. OK, great. Now, listen, Daphne, I'm going to have to prepare you for this because lawyers, they can twist your words around. They get a judge to buy it because of the prenup. Maris can really stick it to Niles. But I got this conference call back at the well, office. I could come with you. Oh, great. We'll get it done in about an hour. Just let me grab my coat. Don't you worry, Dr. Crane. Now, Fraser, I hope you realize they are going to ask you about this business, too. Me? Yes, but don't worry. This is one time when your compulsive truth-telling won't get us into any trouble. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it. It's over. It's over, and I've lost. Maris has won. Maris always wins. Niles. Niles never wins. <laughs> Niles always loses. That's why Niles lives at the Shangri-La and drives a hatchback. <laughs> Niles, now get a grip. Maris's people are just fishing. We're the only ones who know how you feel about Daphne. Today, tomorrow, everyone will know, including Daphne. And this is how she's going to find out. I wanted to whisper it to her over a candlelight dinner, not have it read back to her by a court stenographer. What are you talking about? Frazier's is not going to tell. He's going to be under oath. What if they ask him point blank? Well, he'll just say no. Right, Frazier? <laughs> Frazier? Well, it's not that simple. You heard what he said. I'll be under oath. Oh, my God. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Niles. Yeah. Put your hand between your legs. Oh, oh. I'll get you some water. Oh, Niles, you'll be all right. Just take a couple of deep breaths. If I could take deep breaths, it would mean I could breathe. Frazier has left the building.